Silk Road trial closes. It's a hacker. It's a virus. It's ludicrous. By Joe Molan. The Silk Road trial. View all. New York. A federal jury saw a final clash between prosecutors and lawyers for Ross Ulbricht on Tuesday as the Silk Road drug trafficking trial sped to a close. The case will be with a jury shortly, after a stunningly short defense case. Ulbricht's lawyers put on three brief character witnesses yesterday. Today, they brought a private investigator who offered just a few minutes of testimony, and a former roommate of Ulbricht's in San Francisco who only knew him for a few months. Before long, the packed courtroom was hearing closing arguments. Defense lawyer Joshua Drotel suggested again that Elbricht left the site behind but came back. Or at least, the government hadn't offered proof beyond a reasonable doubt to show otherwise. He made cryptic suggestions that the online personalities they'd seen, and the data on his client's computer, might have been created by unknown others. The internet is not what it seems, he said today repeating his theme about the uncertainty of digital evidence. The defense had no case because Ulbricht didn't have one to make, suggested prosecutor Tim Howard in rebuttal. He thought he had no chance of being caught, Howard said. He thought he was smarter than everyone else. Not an experiment, an obsession, closings began about an hour before the lunch break, with prosecutor Sarah Turner turning the podium to face the jury. The evidence against Ross Ulbricht is interlocking, it's overwhelming, and to a significant extent, it's undisputed, he began. Ulbricht's own lawyer admitted his client created the site weeks ago, during opening statements. There's no dispute it was used to sell drugs, said Turner. There's no dispute when the defendant was arrested, he was logged in, as Dread Pirate Roberts. He blasted Drattel's left and came back theory. Even if it was true, it wouldn't get Ulbricht out of a conspiracy charge, said Turner. But that didn't matter. Ulbricht was the man, start to finish. He started the site, said Turner. It was his baby. He worked on it, enthusiastically, for over three years. He ran it from top to bottom. To know the right answer, jurors just had to consider the mountain of evidence they'd seen from his computer, Turner said. Consider the bookkeeping spreadsheets, the to-do lists, the weekly reports, the maintenance logs, the chats, more than 1,000 pages of chats with Variety Jones, his hacker mentor. And of course, there were Ulbricht's journals. He wants power, he wants prosperity, Turner said, quoting Ulbricht's journal from a screen. It's not an experiment. It's an obsession. He relishes being the unknown mastermind. In the last journal entry, Ulbricht suggested someone may want to write his life story one day. It's clear the site is growing, and his ego is too, Turner said. Turner reminded jurors about the testimony of Richard Bates, Ulbricht's once close friend. You could tell it was painful for him to be here, Turner told the jury. Ulbricht began preparing to embrace the identity of dread pirate Roberts a pop culture legend that signified shifting identities. In late 2011, he told Bates he had sold the site. Well that was a lie, Turner said. It was a lie the defendant told so he could cut ties with Mr. Bates. The content of the thousands of pages of chats makes clear that myself on tour chat as Ulbricht, for the entire life of the site, said Turner, and the defense's suggestion to the contrary was ridiculous. Myself keeps revealing little personal details from Elbrick's life, Turner told the jury. Myself talks about his travel plans with Silk Road staff, on exactly the dates that Elbrick's email and Facebook data show he was traveling. The information found in the chats and in the Silk Road log file are inextricably intertwined with Elbrick's life. When DPR wrote in the Silk Road log that he was sick, Elbrick emailed his parents about being sick. When DPR got hit with poison oak, Ulbricht emailed his ex-girlfriend about it. When Ulbricht had an OK Cupid date, it was right there in the Silk Road log. He kept it running up until the very end, said Turner. Agents did something DPR practically joked about in chats. They snuck up behind him while he was working. They cuffed him and took his open computer. There's no way to explain this away, and the defendant's attempts to do so have been absurd, said Turner. 
he's trying to do the old Dread Pirate Roberts play, one more time, said Turner. On you, ladies and gentlemen. He thinks he can pull one over on you, objection, said Drattel. It was sustained. He still thinks he's clever, said Turner. It's a hacker. It's a virus. It's ludicrous. This is a developing story. Ours will have a full report on closing statements.